بسم الله والحمد لله ونصلي ونسلم على رسول الله so to continue with our supplications supplications that are to be said in the morning then we reached narration number eight and which is of three parts we have three different wordings for the same supplication so it was reported by Abu Dawood in hadith number 5077 from Abu Ayyash radiallahu an that Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said whoever says in the morning la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulk walahul hamd wahuwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer to read it again so whoever says in the morning la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulk walahul hamd wahuwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer so to go for the meaning, then whoever says in the morning, La ilaha illallah, none has the right to be wor- to be worshipped except Allah, wahdahu, alone, la sharika la, having no partner. Lahu al-mulk, sovereignty is his, wa lahu al-hamd, and all praise is for him. وَهُوَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ And he has full power over everything. So the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi said, whoever says in the morning, لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير So this short supplication or statement, so he said, then it will be for him like the freeing of a slave from the descendants of Ismail. And ten good deeds will be written for him. Ten evil deeds will be erased for him. And he will be raised by ten levels, and he will be protected from Satan until the evening. And if he says it in the evening, then there will be the like of that for him, until the morning so whoever says this supplication just once in the morning and once in the evening then he will attain this enormous reward so this hadith was declared sahih by Sheikh al-albani rahimahullah so we'll go on to the next narration so if we go on to the next narration which is b then it was reported by an nasai in A'mal al Yom wa Layla. Hadith number 24 from Abu Ayyub radiallahu an that he said, whilst he, was the la- whilst he was in the land of the Byzantines, that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever says in the morning, La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahu al-mulk wa lahu al-hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer So this is the same wording as the one above so we don't need to repeat it to go through the meaning So he said whoever says his supplication none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone having no partner Sovereignty is his and all praises for him and he has full power over everything. So if he says this ten times, ten good deeds are written for him and ten evil deeds are erased for him. And it will be for him like freeing ten slaves. And Allah will protect him from Satan and whoever says it in the evening then there will be the like of it for him. So it's the same 
uh, hadith above. But this time, so the hadith above was saying it once, and this hadith is saying it ten times, where a person will have ten good deeds and ten evil deeds we erased from him. So this was declared Sahih by Shaykh al Albani in Sahih Hatul At Taghrib, At Taghrib, Hadith number 660. So we move to the, the next and the final narration, C. Then it was reported by An Nasai in A'mal al Yawm wa Layla. Hadith number 580 from Abdullah ibn Amr radiallahu anhuma from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said whoever says la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir so again the same wording none has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone having no partner Sovereignty is his and all praise is for him and he has full power over everything. So he said, whoever says this 100 times when he enters the morning and a 100 times when he enters the evening, then no one will come with anything more excellent than him except for one who says something more excellent meaning on the Day of Judgment. So in the first narration, in A, so the person says it one once in the morning and the evening, and then the, the second narration we've done, then the person says it can say it ten times in the morning, ten times in the evening, increasing in the reward. And in this narration, the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned and if a person says it a hundred times in the morning, a hundred times in the evening, then no one will come with anything more excellent than him, except for one who says something more excellent. So this hadith, Sheikh al Abani said in his book, as Sahiha, hadith number 2762, its chain of narration is Hassan. So as we can clearly see, a very short supplication or statement said by the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which carries a huge reward easy to say even a person, person must say it just once but he's constant upon that in the morning and evening then he shall receive a huge reward